All right, what is going on guys? So this is going to be a brief video because I was in the middle of writing my thoughts on the MacBook Pro 16 inch um, for review and my buyer's guide for Apple's laptop when I came across an article by Forbes saying that there are some problems that are happening with the MacBook Pro 16 inch. And I was like, hmm, I wonder if this is going to affect me because I haven't had any issues with this laptop so far that I found. Now, if you go here, here, I mean, this is the Forbes um, article. And essentially what the issue is from what I've gathered is if you shut your computer off and then plug in MagSafe, it's going to charge on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. And your laptop isn't really charging. So I wanna see if this impacts me. Um, from my use case of using this laptop, I almost never shut it down. Like in my MacBook Air video, I shut it down probably like six times intentionally throughout the entire year, but that's not what we're here for. We're here to test if this issue exists on my laptop. So we are going to need the 140 watt adapter that Apple gives us and of course MagSafe. Now I will also be testing if this issue affects the MacBook Pro 14 inch as well. But from the article, it's pretty much the M1 Max with the 16 inch processor. So Let's go ahead and shut this computer down and see what happens. Now, if you happen to work at Apple and you work at the Genius Bar and you're saying, well, maybe you should update to the latest uh, software. And I'm just here to say that this is the latest version of Monterey on November 30th, 12.0.1. So if you are gonna leave that in the comment, it's gonna be deleted by me. I'm just gonna say that right now because I, I don't have time for that. All right, so as you can see in the overhead, the computer is in fact off and we're just going to plug it in, see what happens. Um, as you can see, it is charging. So let's see, why are people saying this is a problem? So if you close the laptop and then put it in, let me not do anything tricky here. Let me, I flipped it over, so I'm gonna put it the same way. So here is the interesting thing. If you close the lid and put in MagSafe, you can see that the problem is in fact happening. And I don't know exactly why this happens when the laptop is closed, but if I, open the laptop, I believe that laptop's gonna turn on if I open it, of course. So now it's going to stay on. So I, like I said, I don't know why this happens. Um, and for me personally, like I said, I don't charge my laptop while it's fully shut down because I never shut down my computer with instant, instant wake. And on top of that, I just charge through USB-C. But now what I wanna see is if this affects me on the 14 inch, so, um, let me hide some L. Discord is not the time. All right, as you guys can see here, this is the 14 inch and I'm just going to shut down, shut down again. And I'm also going to shut down the 16 inch. Just so you guys are aware, this is the MacBook Pro 14 inch base model that starts at $2,000. So laptop is closed and I'm going to put this in. Oh, wow, surprisingly, it does not seem to affect the 14 inch. At first it turned off and turned back on, but now it seems to be just fully charging the laptop, which is expected. Um, let's go ahead and try this with the, move this out the frame, try this with the 16 inch once again. So laptop is in fact closed and shut down. MagSafe, plugging it in here. Interesting. And I want you guys to also see if I can uh, zoom in here. It is put in all the way. There's no type of trickery here. And I believe there's lights on the bottom too, right? And there's no funny business going on with the power strip. This is, if you have a 16 inch with an M1 Max, I encourage you to try this and see if this is affecting you as well. 
Um, so just for safe measure, I'm just going to... Golly, MagSafe is on a different type of magnetic field, but let's go ahead and flip this over and try again and see if it happens, which I'm almost certain it will. Yep. Very strange that this is happening. Not sure why if you are a, uh, if you are an actual genius at the genius bar, uh, please let us know why this is happening. Um, like I said, I don't work at Apple. I apply to Apple. They rejected me during college. So I'm done with Apple. Okay. But I don't really have an explanation of, you know, how, why this is happening. I'm not an electrical engineer. I didn't invent MagSafe, but I do believe Apple has an article online of how you can potentially fix this. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the article, try their fixes and see if this still happens. Um, I'll have it linked down in the description below and I'm probably gonna have it somewhere on the screen too. So it says, if the indicator light on MagSafe 3 flashes amber repeatedly, try these steps. Disconnect USB-C to MagSafe from your Mac and from the power adapter. So, golly, MagSafe is crazy. So I'm going to disconnect this and disconnect this, which as you guys saw at the beginning of the video, these two were not connected. Disconnect the USB-C power adapter from the wall outlet. Well, it's not in the wall outlet. It is actually, in fact, on a power strip. Okay, disconnected. Use a dry cloth to wipe the MagSafe 3 port and the MagSafe 3 connector. Make sure both the ports and the connector are dry and clear of any debris. Oh, Apple, you are... So annoying sometimes. Dry cloth, let's not use a paper towel because I know Apple people are bougie, so let me go get an actual cloth. Let me sh give you guys this silk microfiber cloth because that's how Apple likes to do business. Um, so I'm gonna wipe this f free of any debris, as you guys can see. I uh, think this is pretty clear debris by my standards. Just gonna give this a good uh, wipe and uh, blow in the cartridge like the N64 days. And I think you guys can agree with me that uh, these ports are pretty clean. Okay, let's move on to the next step. So it says, make sure your USB-C port on the power adapter and USB-C are clear of any debris. <laughs> I'll go blow that later. It says, restart your MacBook. Then connect your USB-C power adapter to the outlet, connect the USB-C and connect the USB-C to MagSafe cable to the adapter into your Mac and then try charging again. If the indicator light continues to flash, contact Apple, which honestly, they're probably just gonna give you another 140 watt adapter and same thing's gonna happen. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's restart the Mac, which it's basically been restarted already, to be honest. Let's go ahead and uh, blow all these holes. Wow, those are, and 64 days for sure. So first things first, they say, Plug this in to here, and then plug it into here, right? You guys are following me. And let us shut this down. Let's give it about five seconds. Five, four, three, dos, uno. Thank you, Dora the Explorer and Boots. And let's go ahead and try this once again <gasps> it fell all right let's uh not have it fall and try again and apple you clearly have a problem and listen, I'm not trying to throw any shade at you. I'm just trying to bring this into light that this is in fact an issue and the steps on your website are not fixing this problem. Um, like I said before, I don't really have an issue with all this. I mean, this is an issue that needs to be resolved. Um, that's no questions asked, but I personally don't charge with MagSafe. I haven't used MagSafe till now, honestly. Um, I use USB-C, Thunderbolt, I have no problems using that. But if you are a person using MagSafe and you know Apple ships this with the product, this should work no matter what the computer is asleep, on, shut down, it should charge no matter what the state the computer is in. So 
I'm just showcasing that this is happening to me and uh, we'll see what Apple does from here. If Apple decides to make a fix, I'll probably make a follow-up video, but that's pretty much it for you guys. Um, if you have the M1 Max 16 inch and it's happening to you, please let me know down in the comments below if you have any remedies. Um, but I'm gonna pretty much leave it off from there. Gonna finish up my MacBook Pro 16 inch review and uh see you guys in the next one so i appreciate every sub like blah, 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 blah. i appreciate every sub like and comment and as always guys much love for once forbes actually wrote a uh, decent article that is facts because i remember before people were saying oh my god this ssd issue if you keep using it your laptop's gonna stop working in a year it's been about a year and uh my macbook is still here so just saying, you lie to us. <laughs>